Hey everyone, welcome back for our session tonight for LaGrange students, fifth grade and under. I'm glad you're able to join in tonight and just a little reminder, we're working through learning about the Bible and we're doing it online because of all this quarantine business and all this social distancing and we're doing it. That's the important thing is we're doing it. So we're continuing to encourage our kids to learn their books of the Bible. Old Testament and New Testament. I'd love to hear from you if you get yours down pat. I've already heard from quite a few of you. And I've got scripture cards that I can send out to you when you're ready for those. So our session this week, um, we're going to dig a little deeper into Genesis. Um, we're going to kind of start learning what is actually in the books that we're learning. We're going to see God's greatness as he creates the world. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to do it in question format like usual. So there will be a time for you to think of your answer. Our first question, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They are considered the books of Law, poetry, history, or prophets. The books of the law, that's exactly right. Our first five books. Next question, there are two other names for these first five books of the law. They are, do you remember? The Pentateuch and the Torah. That's two other names that we refer to I'm um, used to refer to the first five books of the Bible. So now a little bit more on these books. What book do we read about God creating the world, the heavens and the earth? Which one of those five books? Genesis, the story of the beginnings, that's right. Okay, in the very first chapter of Genesis, if you've got your Bible, tonight would be a great night to read along because we're going to actually read some from this very first chapter. Remember, each book of the Bible is divided into smaller portions called, do you remember? Chapters, and each chapter is divided into smaller portions called verses. So we're going to be looking into the very first chapter of Genesis. Genesis is the first book. We're going to look in that very first chapter and we're going to read about the very first thing God created. A lot of first in this question. So let's look right here. Chapter 1 we're going to read the first three verses. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness was everywhere, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be What's that in verse 3? If you're reading along with me, let there be light. Light. That was the very first thing God created. And he called the light day and the darkness he called night. Let there be light. That just kind of struck me because Jesus is the light of the world. God saw right from the beginning that we were going to need light. And we still need light today. We need Jesus today. That was just one little thing that kind of struck me, a little side note. So moving right along, day two. We're going to read what happens on day two. If you'll read with me in that first chapter of Genesis, move down to verse six. And I'm using the King James Version. It says, and God said, let there be a firmament. That's a big word, firmament, in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 7, and God made the firmament 
and divided the waters which were under the firmament and the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And verse 8 tells us that God called the firmament heaven. So on day two, God, there was water everywhere. And so he separated the waters and made the waters up above separate from the waters below. And we have this space in between. And he called this heaven. So that was on day two. Okay. After day two comes day three. And we're kind of going over this together this week. And next week, we'll have a few questions about what God did on each day. Um, so on day three, we're going to skip down to verses nine in that first chapter. God says, let the waters under the heaven be gathered into one place and let dry land appear. And it was so. So he separated the waters, put them all together. So we have oceans and seas and lakes and rivers and ponds and dry land appeared. And on that dry land, on that third day, God caused grass to grow and trees bearing fruit. So we have our dry land appearing, our seas and oceans are made. We have the grass and trees growing on the, on the land. Day four, down to verse 14 in the first chapter. So this is, we're actually kind of going through a chapter in the Bible and we're learning a lot. Um, on day four, let's read what happened. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament. Remember the firmament, the heavens? Of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So God placed the sun, the moon, and the stars up in the heavens. And they do rule. The sun does rule the day and the moon the night. And so did you realize even right from the beginning of time, God was planning a way for time to um, pass. So because just a little review, you know, the earth is spinning around. It spins around one time every 24 hours and while it's spinning it's moving really slowly it's rotating around that thing in the middle called the sun it takes it a whole year to go all the way around the sun so right from the very beginning God was making our time and our seasons and our signs so, so cool how awesome and smart our God is. So on day five, we're going to go down to verse 20. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life and fowl or birds that may fly above the earth in the open firmament or up in the heavens and skies. So on that fifth day, he put life in the oceans, our sea life, fishes, and birds in the sky. So that was day five. Day six, in verse 24, we read, God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. So God made the animals, and then in verse 26, God said, On the sixth day, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion or rule over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth in the earth. So God created man in his own image. He created male and female. So all animal life, um, he created on that sixth day. And he gave a name to that very first man he created. Do you remember that name that he gave to the first man? 
Adam. That's right. And then Adam gave um, the woman the for her name. It means mother of all living. And her name is Eve. That's exactly right. Adam and Eve. So that's our lesson for tonight. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope you like navigating actually through some scripture this time. So I'll see you back next week. And we'll have a review on this first chapter of Genesis. Thank you for joining me. Good night.